Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Sign, and we're finally back with another franchise mode episode. I'm very sorry, there was a heat wave in the Netherlands, and it was really undoable to record in this amount of heat. It was 33 degrees inside of my office. That's no fun, I tell you that. So, uh, from our heat wave, we go back to 34 degrees in our desert franchise zoo. And um, in this, why are you boxed? And in this episode, you guys voted for the next animal. And the next animal is going to be the jaguar. So that is going to be very excited. The only downside is I want to get that black. Oh my god, there are black jaguars right now here. <gasps> Two females. Oh, I'm going to get you. I was like, oh, I couldn't find any uh, black ones uh, in the before I started recording, so I was like, oh man, I really hope that I can get a black one. So now I have a normal one and a black one, and hopefully these stats are perfectly fine actually together. Yes, awesome! Okay, so we're going to have a black jaguar today in our franchise zoo. I'm super excited to see that one roaming around in our lovely zoo. Um, it's nighttime right now, so let's go and check out some things. We have a pronghorn antelope being stressed, Thompson gazelle being stressed. Oh gosh, okay, great. We're still, uh, the, the signs underneath the flooring, which we placed the last time. I don't really feel they are working that well then. Because if we check the heat map, which should be this one, uh, they're still stressed, unfortunately. Uh, so I doubt if this is really the way to go for. It was a really good suggestion though, and I do have the feeling that bungos are less stressed, so I don't know actually. Let's hope that we don't get protesters in. Uh, oh wait, maybe... And was the stress trying to hide? Yeah, no, you go and hide because then you will gain... I think, I hope. Let's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Niala is also low welfare right now. That's also because of stress. Oh, it's so hard to make these animals happy without any other issues. So that's really a pity, but well, we just hope that we won't get protesters and they will find their privacy spots in their habitats and then it will be all good. If you guys have any other tips other than putting down one side of the glass, which I just don't want to do in this area, then do let me know in the comment section down below, of course. What we're going to do today, I want to make sure that our finances are doing well. So let's have a look right over here. We might want to put in facility has negative impact. Wait, what? Oh, many guessing ticks are on the prize. Okay, I'm going to make 20 out of that because we can we could use that money, definitely. Uh, guest education rating is on three stars, so we could go and put down some conservation signs or something like that. Animal rating four stars, conservation rating four stars, guest happiness rating is four stars. We definitely need to look into the guest happiness too. Uh, view report. Is there anything interesting? Niala Habitat, four stars, the rest five stars. Um, but that's all right, I guess. Um, education, three stars. Cleanliness, five stars, which is really good, actually. Uh, are they still on their price? Because I, uh, I'm okay with that, if you say so. <laughs> okay, finance. I think, actually, what we could do is we could get some more souvenir sh um, shops because we just don't have any right now. And I do have something really cool, but I don't think it's really fitting for some shops. I think it's going to be way more busy if we're going to use that. But I do just really feel like I want to use that. That's the multi-level planters by Elitist S. And this one is just too good to not use. It's incredible. Uh, but it has like shops, but I feel like if there we put down some path in between, I think it's just going to be very, very busy. I might want to just change that for some toilets and put down a restaurant. Well, we could try and see how it goes, obviously, and just see if it, if it really gets too busy, we could replace them in a later stage. Um, I do want to make a nice area for this one because it's just super awesome to to not use. I mean, we, we must use it. 
Um, so I think we may want to put it down somewhere over here instead. So if we just put you down into the ground, something like this. And now we're going to put down an 8 meter wide path. I think it's also 8 meters. And uh, we could use these guys. I like these guys to some variation. Okay, perfect. So instead, we have just a momento right now here. We need to connect it on this side uh, with an 8 meter wide one. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that is really awesome. Just unpause this. This is really, really incredible work. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? All the foliage and detailing in here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Like really an awesome way to just walk to a different area. I'm just really curious if it's going to be busy. I think it's not going to be super busy right now because we don't have too many animals around it but oh man this is just so cool oh we don't have power okay we need to fix that yes okay so we're going to use this one instead i just saw this one and i was like oh my god that one is so cool this one is made by fame thrower so you can also find this one in the collection list down below of course and i think this one is going to be perfect we also have a veterinarian already inside here uh, so I think that's going to be good and we're going to put this one a little bit more in the back but look at how cool that building is looking. Okay so this is now called Waterfall Guest Buildings uh, just because I thought that was like the best way to call it right now. I do you have a pip shop too so I'm gonna call you Waterfall Guest Buildings give you that work zone. And so they now can use this staff building uh, for their work. So that is pretty decent, I think. Oh man, this is looking so nice. Is it cooler here now? We're going to be cooler? No, not at all. Can we maybe just... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to squeeze in some of the coolers. Just three or two. And just make sure that we have a little bit more cooler area for the guests to uh, to cool down here. So I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to give you the, uh, let's say, 23 degrees, something like that. And just squeeze one here too. And I think this area can then be cooler, as if like this waterfall would actually bring in some cooler uh, air in here. Um, so that should definitely work for this area. Maybe we need to put in one more. I'm not really sure if this is going to be completely covered with it. Do we have many, many, many? Yes, 10. Can we give it 15? Let's do 15. <laughs> Let's earn some money from people going to the toilet. I like that. Okay, so guest building is working. We have a transformer and a water pump right over here. So I think this is a very cool area already well obviously it's super plain still here and i'm actually thinking to maybe also start doing let's maybe put the south america jaguar in this section no i don't really feel that is the best way to go for actually let's pause the game just real quick let's see what we have here uh, still underpriced? You're kidding? Well, I'm happy to uh, to raise those prices again. No worries. Okay, we have some research done. That is for the spot hyena and the reticulated giraffe. So that's really cool. What else can we do here? I think I'm just going to leave. No, wait. The black wildebeest. So let's put Devon on the black wildebeest here and the African wild dog. Let's put Francesca on the African wild dog. And maybe a little bit more on the camels. Mm, I think we can uh, we can wait with that for just a little bit longer. And what else? I think actually that the South American animals should go more in this corner. We can expand with some more African animals towards there. Maybe also something here in the middle still. I mean, this is a pretty useless area still. Oh yeah, right. We also wanted to have elephants, but the elephant would have gone... Well, the elephants probably go somewhere over here. I think somewhere in this corner, this could be a perfect place for some jaguars and maybe some other South American animals. That would be really cool.
It took a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, we're still far from that. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep these uh, wooden fences. I'm not really sure, but I like it that they ha that it has like some open areas for the guests to look into the habitat. But I might change the fencing in a later stage. This fence, however, is really really cool. This fence was made by this fence is made by Roopster. 
And this information board is also in the collection. That one is made by information board by Lo or Lao. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but it's a super simple but very modern one and it just fits. It just fits. And I also used them in the tent area of the giraffes and stuff. They're really, really nice. So if you want to download them yourself, you can obviously. But thank you guys so much for providing these blueprints. They're really, really nice and I, they look just really beautiful. Obviously, we need to fill this one up too. Uh, but ah, oh, what a relief. The Jaguar, he just likes so much foliage. So yep, if you give me freedom, then I will definitely use that in my advantage and just create some kind of lushy area. And we have this water section because the Jaguar obviously likes to have a little swim and also a nice cave area right over here for the Jaguar to have some rest and some shade, obviously that too. And we have a lot of long grass because the Jaguar really likes some long grass in its habitat. So that is perfect. The only thing what we don't have right now are climbing frames. So that is something yeah, I actually didn't think of. <laughs> so we might want to add some standard rock. Maybe someone can create something cool that we could add maybe here in this more plain area. So that would be really nice to have some kind of climbing frame going from this side to the other side. It doesn't have to be super high or anything, but just that it provides them some climbing uh, needs. Maybe something like in the shape of a tree with like logs that is like that fell down, something like that. That would be super amazing. I am uh, actually a little bit disappointed that the standard blueprints just no. no. They're just nothing spectacular. I do really like this uh, shade thing of Andal, it was, I think. Uh, yes, Andal made this one. We use it in the African wild dogs habitat too. I'm not really sure if I'm able to squeeze it in somewhere here. It's just, just a funny thing and it just looks really beautiful, but I don't really think that could work. But no, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna gonna leave that climbing frame for any one of you that likes to create something with like some logs to create, to, to give them that 80 square meters. They have a huge habitat, so they're super happy with it. Or maybe something we could even put above the water section. I just always like to do that. So something like that could also be cool. Something that works like some logs that go over the water. So they have a path going over there. I'm curious actually if they are able to use this, so let's quickly test that. Um, traversal area, oh yeah, they're definitely able to do that. They're not able to escape the habitat, so that is also perfect. Let's, let's have a look at that beautiful black jaguar here. A vet cannot reach habitat, works on setup. Oh, I might have to add everything in, oh my god, oh my god. Hello, you precious black jaguar. Oh my god, it has been months ago since I've seen you for the last time. Jump! <laughs> You're amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to see this one again. They're so freaking stunning. Just look at that. This is really beautiful. I love it. Yeah, this is just awesome. And hopefully, now I have never made any cups with a black jaguar, so I'm hoping that someday we are lucky enough to get a black jaguar in our zoo because there are higher chances right now that the black jaguar can give its black color over to its cup. So she, I have all my hopes up for you, lady. Pretty lad, eh? <laughs> I'm really excited for that. So we have a pumpkin right over here, which looks a little bit weird at the moment. There you go. And we have the presented sack on this top of the edge. And we have the, what is it called again? Rotation line feeder right over here. So I think they definitely have enough food areas. And hopefully, are you going to use that? Oh, you're not. Hello, pretty. Oh my god, they're definitely my favorite big cats in the game. They are absolutely stunning. I love these guys. 
They're so freaking beautiful, aren't they? Honestly, this is so cool. So yeah, we might, uh, yeah, well, we get back to this habitat. We do need to provide them some climate frames before they get super unhappy. And we have a temporarily keeper hut and staff room right over here. We have two transformers here. I'm not really sure if we're going to keep them, but we're going to have a facility area right here in the corner, I think. And obviously we're going to purify everything here. We're going to have some more South American animals in this region over here, but this is definitely the highlight or going to be the highlight of the South American area. And I really just love how this is looking. I'm very happy with the caves and like the green on top of it. I think it looks really nice. And of course, a lot of palm trees because that totally fits this area so guys i am just really oh yeah i forgot to show you guys um so we have these really awesome from amazing gaming these awesome bridges they are absolutely stunning so we have three different areas to go to this area and obviously we're gonna make this beautiful and looking nice with rocks and then like a lot of foliage and some good stuff and this one is the only one that isn't connected yet what is that oh there's a floating... Huh. Okay, I don't know where that one came from. But this one is the only one not connected yet. But these two are connected. So they have a nice bridge going into this particular area right over here. And I just really love the look of them. So thank you so much, Amazing Gaming. They are absolutely stunning bridges. I, I don't even know how you did this. It's, I guess it's just copy-pasting. Like, make one shape and then copy paste them but it's so awesome i love the idea it's incredible so thank you so much for this amazing bridge and all the other blueprints they're really really stunning oh, i can't wait for the next episode and um yeah now the question is going to be i saw two animals being on top of the pole that we did for the jaguar and two of the other animals had 19 percent so the question is going to be, what animal do you guys like to see next? So that is the saltwater crocodile or the cheetah. Those two were all were both 19%. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see the saltwater crocodile or the cheetah in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this new Jaguar habitat in our franchise Desert 2. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and also because it really does help out the channel. Subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to support the channel a little extra you may want to consider to become a Fae Fan member with a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!